Here we are again. Today we're gonna shoot some cinematic pool game and yeah, lots of b-roll. Not a big story for today, but lots of b-roll shots and some cinematic scenes. Yeah, and now you're gonna see the behind the scenes again. That's it. Boom! I'm sorry guys, at this point I have to continue with the voiceover because we had a heater working on the whole time and it was extremely noisy. So I'll show you an example of that. Yeah, that's really annoying, you don't want to hear this the whole time. So I'll put on a relaxing background music and tell you everything else we've done now. Second thing we did is putting on the softbox above the pool table to keep the pool table in focus, just lighting up the pool table and everything else in the background will be dark. And yeah, we shot everything handheld on the GH5 camera with 120 frames per second to get the cinematic slow motion look and the footage will not be shaky because we're shooting handheld. We took some shots of rolling boats. We weren't really sure if we need that later on, but just to have that footage. And of course we had a smoke machine there because everything looks better with smoke on that, more cinematic. Yeah, every shot we've done is 120 frames per second for the slow motion, 250 shutter to get the shutter double the frame rate. It's really important to get a little bit motion blur on the shots, especially when there's a lot of movement in that. Most of the shots are done with four aperture to get a little bit more in focus. ISR on 1600, the whole shoot. And yeah, this shot when Roman was throwing up the bowl was around 50 takes or something. <laughs> it was really funny, but I guess it was worth it. Looks really cool. And here you're gonna see the intro shot was a little bit too dark in Roman's face, so we had to put on an additional light. Paul is holding that. That was also around 300 takes to get that perfect. Yeah, and then we tried just capturing some usual pool game, hitting some bowls, and I always tried to follow the bowls with my camera.
at the end of the shoot we tried to add some cool different stuff like post smoking blowing out some rings and some stuff but that doesn't really work doing some trick shots as well but that didn't really work so we didn't use we didn't use it for the bureau sequence at least And yeah, that was the shoot. It was at least 3 hours in total to get a 50 seconds b-roll clip. Way better in time than the last poker shoot, so it was really cool. I'm really happy with the result. And yeah, now you're gonna see the final result again. <laughs>